Hey McGinn, happy Friday. Hope everyone is doing well and you have a terrific weekend. Tomorrow is actually Dr. Seuss's birthday, March 2nd, and that is the official kickoff, I guess you could say, of Read Across America Week, which we will be celebrating here at McGinn next week starting on Monday. Different themes every day, awesome books, definitely a couple of visitors will be here during the week. It's going to be a great time to celebrate reading because it is dr seuss's birthday on march 2nd i figured i would do a book uh by him i'm going i've done this before for the youtube channel but it's so well done and it's such a neat story because this was this is what pet should i get and this was a book that was published after dr seuss passed away when they found old manuscripts in an in a desk that hadn't been touched in a while and they figured out, oh my gosh, this was something he was working on. So here we go with what pet should I get? I hope you enjoy. We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands. So we shook. So I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat and she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten, they looked like good fun. Now which would we pick? We could only pick one. Make up your mind. The cat or the dog, the kitten, the pup. Oh boy, it is something to make a mind up. Then I looked all around. I saw something with wings. I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all these pets that I see, and so do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know Mother told us to be back by noon. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said, what pet should we get? But you know what Kay did? Do you know what she did? She said, fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. Then I saw a new kind and they were good too. How could I pick one now? What should we do? We could only pick one. That is what my dad said. But how could I make up the mind in my head? Make up your mind. Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but oh, our house is so small. This thing on a string would bump bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So maybe some other good kind of pet, another kind maybe, is what we should get. We might find a new kind of pet who is tall, a tall pet who fits in a space that is small. My mother might like this pet best of them all. If we had a big tent, then we'd be able to take home a yent. Dad would like us to have a good yent, but how do I know he would pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet? How can you make up your mind what to get? But what if we took one of each kind of pet? Then our house would be full of the pets we would get. No, Dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. I will do it right now. I will do it, I said. I will make up the mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat. I picked one out fast, and then that was that. And then, boys and girls, what I love about the back, it allows you to make the decision of what pet did they get. Little check boxes here. I hope in your mind you can make a decision of what you think the brother and sister combo picked there. I hope you guys have some reading time this weekend. Look forward to next week celebrating Read Across America, and I'll talk to you soon again. Take care.